Yeah, <laughs> dude. So heavy. Dude, the freaking mouth on that thing, dude. No, I... ah, that was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> hey. You made it. <laughs> Long journey, eh? Long journey, my friend. <laughs> Super excited to have these guys here with us. We're gonna have a good few days ahead. So like we, we're seeing lots of animals on the way in, which is a really good sign. So I think we'll take some time just to unpack everything, uh, get the food stuff in the fridge, get the all our bags out, gun set up, all of that, and then maybe head out on, a, on an afternoon hunt. But yeah. Bottom left, go for it. Nice. Yes, we got a good so on the first morning, we set out just to go after Dossies. Dossies are a rock chuck-like animal. They say the closest thing, though, to its skeletal structure is actually an elephant. And you can kind of see the similarities once you actually see them and how they stand and, and their posture, they actually do look like a little mini elephant, more so than a squirrel or a rodent. <laughs> so, rundown, we've been here for- uh, It's alive. Uh, basically, we hunted this afternoon. Yep. And. Um, We've been killing some dossies already. Yeah. And um, almost had our chance at some monkeys. Well, we had our chance for monkeys. We just weren't ready. We weren't. They were on the We run. were not solid, and they were. And uh, But that's okay. Seen a lot of animals, seen squirrels. What's that bird called again? Harida. Haridas. Harida. Harida. They like to make their mark, you know. And they laugh at you. They yeah. heckle you like you're a. Like you're a. <laughs> Let me whisper something. Like you're a sister. Let something. them whisper to you. <laughs> So day one was a hit, and we just sat around this big open fire, enjoyed absolutely phenomenal food. Well, we're just coming up to five o'clock in the morning. It's nice and early, um, and we're gonna be going after some monkeys. Had a really good day yesterday, got lots of dussies, and uh, we did see some monkeys. So we know they're out there, and we are hoping that uh, with it being nice and cool this morning, they'll be up in the trees or moving about looking for food. And we want to take that opportunity because they might start to slow down a bit later. So, got some coffee. Uh, the guys are just getting a little bit of food in their systems and uh, getting guns aired up and all that stuff. And in a moment, we'll be heading out and hitting the road and trying to find some new spots and get some action. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we came for. <laughs> Are you feeling the joy? Uh, I'm feeling the joy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling joy now. That gets the blood pumping. Monkey down. Monkey down, baby. <laughs> and as you can see, the three of us were absolutely in shock to see our first baboon. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude. Yeah! <laughs> it's so heavy. Dude, 
freaking mouth on that thing. Dude. Oh my gosh. Freaking nuts. They just uh, made a freaking crazy shot on this thing. Uh, we were clear down there by the road and uh, well, well spotted them down low. And uh, by the time we got all set up, they were about mm, 400 yards up this mountain. But uh, Thane put it on him, dude. Justin Welch spotted two baboons heading up the mountain and we had to wait. We, we stopped, had to turn around, sit on the truck and wait for them and they would never stop. We tried to make noise and they just ignored us, kept going up the hill. So they just kept getting further and further. So finally had to take a shot, uh, used a 22-250, the 50 grain VMAX. A uh, little bit light for this, this size of an animal, but it did its job. Knocked him down. Uh, you can see the big old canines, like this thing's just, it's just, it's crazy. So cool. Uh, we came here trying to get a baboon, warthog, monkeys, and we've got monkeys. This is our first baboon, so super excited about it. So we were, uh, sorry, we're actually heading, uh, heading towards a river and we, uh, just happened to come across this group of monkeys. They took off. This one ran up. Uh, we lost sight of him for a minute, but then he just gave me a shot. He ran up the top of the tree and looked at us just for a second and uh, blitzed him with uh, Matt's 22 to 50. So, good day. Good shooting, Justin. Thank you. That was cool. <laughs> Yes. Whew. 40 grain smacked him, man. This is heaven. This is heaven. <laughs> Got this uh, monkey out of the cliff face there. Uh, as you can see, that 40 grain did some damage. Shooting 1,030 feet a second out of that impact. I mean, just there's lights out. It's, this is just amazing to be out here doing this. South Africa. I mean, where else in the world can you shoot monkeys like this? Your skin, bro. <laughs> Those javelins at 40, <laughs> them 40 grade javelins at a thousand feet a second. Holy smokes. <laughs> so, as we rolled into this area, the ranch owner said, Watch for war hogs. I see a lot of war hogs in here. And sure enough, right off the bat, Thane spotted one, but it was it was booking already. So, he, he put a shot on it though, and <laughs> touchdown made an awesome shot. I held the left side because I knew he was going to angle left and just took the shot right at his mouth. This or was it further that way? No, we sp spotted a, a group of warthogs out there and uh, ended up getting on this one. Wouldn't stop running uh, and ended up shooting him on the on the move. And then we, we got up here and, and finished him off. Uh, small warthog, be good eating. It's getting a bit hot right now, so we're going to head out um, back, to the, back to the house. He's about 300 meters away. So, uh, cool little guy. Later in the day, we actually tried doing a little footstock on some of these uh, spring bucks, and they have crazy good vision. So, uh, it was uh, spring bucks one, us zero at this point, because they, uh, they bust us. We couldn't quite get close enough to get a shot at the time. Well, as is often the case here in this uh, part of the country, um, the weather has played a part in dictating how our day looks. Rains just started to come down, uh, temperature suddenly plummeted. It was about 37 degrees Celsius today, which is pretty crazy. And now it's plummeted to probably like 12 degrees Celsius, 10 degrees, something, something like that. So pretty chilly, but... Uh, we, uh, we're going to light the fire indoors, we're going to take it easy this evening, make some food and possibly go out this evening with a thermal, so stay tuned for that, but that's weather dependent. Um, if, it, if it keeps on raining, we'll probably save the thermal hunting for tomorrow night, 
Um, either way, we've got uh, a whole day tomorrow to hunt game, so take it easy tonight, get our energy levels up, um, relax a bit, spend some time together, and go again tomorrow. Well, it's, uh, it's dark, uh, the rain has just stopped, so it's on. We've got the impact set up with the thermal, I need to come in with two to get the thermal set up, and we're going to go for a drive, hopefully get these guys some species that they haven't got to shoot before, uh, scrub hairs I'm pretty sure we, we should get, and fingers crossed that we get maybe a, possibly a spring hair or a porcupine or something like that, um, just something a bit more, a bit more unique, but yeah, looks like the weather's pretty good, so let's hit the road and see what we can do. So we went out at night, we rigged up the air guns with, with thermal. Hunting with air guns and thermal is probably the funnest thing you could possibly do. And and good. Now he is. <laughs> Headshot. We were looking for the dude. This is the luckiest ever. <laughs> like, what have we seen tonight? Yeah. No, what are those things that we've, Justin just shot? We've seen porcupine. We've seen severed cats. Um, we've seen some spring air. We've dude. seen monkeys in the trees at night. Servet cats, or whatever they're called. Uh, Janets. Janets, actually, yeah. yeah Janets. We've seen tons of them. And porcupines, Matt, you haven't seen them for like five years. Like, Good. we are seeing so much stuff. Yeah, I just tonight. killed Janet Jackson. You just killed freaking... Hoppy hop hop. hop yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hop We're always past this is insane. Coolest animal, dude. Like, this is the kind of stuff we love to shoot. This is an air guns. gunner's yeah. dream. Yes. Bit, yes. Is to come and do this. Yeah. Have you seen their claws? Oh, maybe not so cute. <laughs> and look, look, look at this. Dude, and their their back claws look like a T-Rex. Yeah. Look at that. They look like a gopher. Look at their teeth. Or like a hamster. Yeah, they've got hamster teeth, yeah. What? But look at their claws. You see their front claws? They tear you they look like. Well, if you look at the skies this morning, you would never guess that our hunt was cut short yesterday by the rain. But it was. Rain started pouring down the afternoon and we had to start hunkering down and um, we did get some awesome uh, thermal hunting going uh, last night like well I say last night it's more like into the early hours of the morning but uh, yeah looks like today isn't going to be a perfect weather day although when I say perfect weather heat might be something we have to deal with pretty late in the year clouds are few and far between sky's blue I think we're gonna kind of do the same thing as yesterday Get some coffee going, get all our hunting stuff ready, fill, fill air tanks and all that stuff, and hit the road and see what we can find. But yeah, try and maybe go some, go to some different locations today, up the mountain, into some of the more commercially farmed lands, and see if we can get some monkeys there.
got my first uh, African game animal on the board. Got this awesome blessed buck. Um, these things are absolutely beautiful. And they were, I mean, the scenery to be able to get this thing today was just something that you, you can't get anywhere else. I mean, seeing the herds of these things and, and being able to get on this guy, we, we couldn't close the distance the first time and then we got lucky and slipped over a ridge and uh, we got lucky and got a window of opportunity that was really small and we got him. So, so pumped. He's going up, he's going up. Trying to push now. Headshot. Drilled him. So as we went across this plateau, we spotted some more warthogs and uh, we decided to go after them. I wish we could have got on video. I hit this one on the run, maybe two, three hundred meters uh, on a run. I wish we could have got on video because it, it was a it was a cool shot to see, but it didn't go far. Tipped over and died right there. Those cutters would tear you up. That thing's awesome. Dude, that's awesome. Later on, on the second day, we decided to go out to another area. Uh, Matt wanted to show us the, you know, the Egyptian geese and uh, what a problem they can be. So we decided to head over to some open pasture and try and get some Egyptian geese. We ended up getting uh, quite a few. They were long shots, so we couldn't use air guns on most of them, but it was a lot of fun anyway. And the locals were super pumped to get some Egyptian geese for dinner. After we dropped off the animals to the locals, we started to head on down the road and I spotted this mongoose. They said, shoot it, it's, it, it kills all of our chickens. So, I did. Six and a half, all see the teeth. Dude, this thing's ridiculously tough. I gave him three or four 40 grainers and uh, he took it like, he actually, I hit him, he turned around the road and stood up at me like, What's up now? <laughs> but dude, what a gnarly little animal. Look at that. It's tough. What are you doing this morning, bro? We Mind your head. are going to try and kill a uh, spring buck this morning. We've, we've kind of had our eye on one all week. And uh, we're going to see if we can get it done right now. Uh, we only have about an hour and a half so before we're going to take off. So. Hey, uh, so we're here in a uh, national park, and Welch is most excited for what? The dung beetles. The dung beetles. Once we were done hunting at the uh, Ox Ranch, we decided to make our way to Cape Town, which is about a 10 hour drive from where we were hunting. But we got to go through a national park and see a lot of cool uh, wildlife that we, we wouldn't have got to see that close up. So the baboons in the park, by the way, have a little bit different behavior than the ones out in the wild. The ones in the wild are running up hills as fast as they can go by the time you even see them. Here, on the other hand, they like to sit around and just lift their leg and show you their junk. Overall, my first trip to South Africa was amazing. We had zero expectations going over there of what was gonna happen or what we were going to do. Uh, Matt just said, come over, we're gonna have a great time. And he was right, we had an absolute blast and what an experience of a lifetime. <laughs>